we saw this clearly in the past four weeks. The Keshe Foundation technology was clearly used by the Iranian government on horizons of the Tel Aviv. Let me explain to you, and then you see the measure of the fields. You can go on the internet and watch this video, or if I can share with you some photos which we noticed as the, as attack was taking place, was we were observing the position of the lights and everything else, and now somebody has put on the internet, we can speak about it, and then you see how the technology has changed and how the technology changes. I show you a sequence, which is important to understand the sequence, and then I show you other pictures with it. I'll send the link to Rick, but uh, I don't know if we can show it or not. Do you want me to show that uh, no, um, image? No, I'm showing it. I put the image up now. And you, you can link. I, I cut if, out the image if you want that. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Up. i show you this. If you see, it, this light suddenly appeared on the, what you call, the skies of Tel Aviv on the 1st of October. A few seconds later, this light appears, two of them. You can see the horizon, the Tel Aviv burning in the background. Those lights at the back, in the front, you see the city, in the background is where literally the city was in a fire. A few seconds later, we saw the three lights, star formation. These three lights took their position. These are Keshe Foundation Space Development Technology. Iranian military calls with the light system. They move into action and see what happens. You see the lights, dotted lights, these are anti-aircraft or what you call anti-missile defense technology of Israel. You see the gap. I don't know if I can write on it. I don't know if I can eliminate. You see there is a gap between the main light and the first light and cannot go any closer. And we saw how all these lights literally buried, disappeared. They never got real to this. You see them again here. in the second picture. They created a field, and now you see they increase the field, that they don't come any closer. You see the gap between the first and the second picture. This is the first time ever Keshe Foundation Plasma Technology is shown by the Iranian scientists in creating magnetic field shielding. Military-wise, I'll explain to you, in the future, why they were employed for the first time. This is the fear of the West. This is the technology which, for the first time, Iran warned about technology they have in their hand. And this is why we saw this horizon in Tel Aviv. All the anti-aircraft, all the anti-missile system, all the dome was, or whatever they shot at, was observed. Even they use X-ray laser beam, they were diverted. And, this is what we saw, what Israelis claimed to be so safe, there was no iron dome. And since this time, we've seen Hezbollah has had a lot of success hitting Northern Israel and the rest of it. I have advised and I have recommended to the Ayatollah Khamenei of Iran in Iranian government, instead of going for war, open this technology this week to the world public and create peace with it. 
this technology is extremely advanced. And belongs to Keshe Foundation. We developed it in Iran. You can see the distance. If you watch the video of this, you see exactly the shielding. The distance these things cannot, as they come near to the certain point, they just disappear. If we go with this technology, nuclear warheads, everything else is obsolete. I have requested from Atlakhadi of Iran in the past few hours to stop the war and release the technology. We have shown it, we are not talking about, we are going to show it. You see the fire on the ground, the bases of the Israeli army, on fire. This is the lights you see in the background, and we have so detailed. You got to remember, as I said to the Iranians, Israelis show satellite figures from Americans what they hit. They don't show the satellite figures of the ground, which was wiped out on the 1st of October. A wife does not leave a husband if he could secure the wife. Netanyahu wife has left Israel this week because he cannot secure his nation and his wife is fleeting. If Iran decides to go for retaliation of the 26, we will achieve a lot. We'll destroy half of the forces, maybe hundreds of thousands of the Israelis with the Palestinians who live in Israel, or we open the door of the knowledge and show, as you see, the star formation on the horizon of Tel Aviv 30 days ago. I especially kept this away from public. You go and see the videos on the internet, you see the live of this, how these anti-missiles never reach and they just disappear, depending on the fields and how the two system adjust itself, how you increase the distance between the star formation. Now, for the first time, you see the beauty of a technology, which in the way we developed it to stop meteorites and the rest to come to planet Earth to endanger us or in high speed travel to keep us protected. These are not made of images. These are the images which the Israelis posted on their own internet, and it was banned immediately that Iran possesses the most advanced technology. This is the reason when I told you I had 80% of the answer, we are still there. And then you have to understand the process of the technology can be used for peace, and for Iran to open this technology worldwide, immediately. We are the owners of the technology as Keshe Foundation, and you are part of it. And now you see the beauty of it. There is a restriction on YouTube, if I break checks and can bring, so a few people have put this up on the internet, in different form in their chats. If we don't break the law, there is actually live transmission of it by CNN. You see how this barrage of the, what do you call, missiles disappear in the, within the vicinity, it never reaches it. Gravitational magnetic field, interaction of the field with the atmosphere create light. You wanted to see the application of the Keshe Foundation was shown in strength, 1st of October 2024. More or less, more or less, about a week here and there, just about 16 years after technology was transferred to Iran. And left Iran in 2008. You see a star formation is beauty, 
and its power to stop the latest weapon technology. And we've seen how this has brought the gap. The Iron Dome has become rusted and penetrable. As I said, we know the collaboration between the West and Israel. There are no match to this technology. You're all familiar with this. Now we see the star formation on the horizons of the Aviv. So, what will be the future in the next few days is how the Khan of Iran will take our advice and open the technology worldwide and divert the whole war into a new technology dimension. This has a lot of application. This has a lot of implication. This makes nuclear weapon obsolete. This makes the most latest defense technology of American and Israelis all obsolete. And don't forget, in this day, on the 1st of October, using this technology, the whole defense technology of the Israel, the Iron Dome broke down, that they had to go to American and ask for THAAK system. That needs 100 Americans to be there to do it, to safeguard Israel, and even with that they brought in, Hamas is bypassing, and we've seen hundreds of Israeli soldiers were killed in the past two or three days. Because the dome, the system control, through the instruction of this new technology, has brought an end to the most sophisticated systems they ever thought they had. As I said to one of the knowledge seekers, <coughs> on the 1st of October, the technology showed this power, this beauty, that no advanced technology is needed. The space has become open to man, and how we do it, and has made the latest weapon technology of the Americans and the Israelis and the rest obsolete. You got to realize, a thief is a thief by nature. The Americans have are bringing this THAK system with Protect to Israel. They brought two or three systems of it to protect it, and they find it is obsolete because it's literally bypasses by this system whenever they are used. But they stole this technology from the Americans, and they tried to say it's theirs, but when it got obsolete, they brought the Americans, the Americans find out with their system are obsolete. But the most interesting thing is this is, Israelis can put out S-300, which is the Russian defense technology which is given to you. And the Iranians with this technology can obsolete the American defense technology. So, what's the use of fighting? What's the use of all this mayhem? And I have recommended our request to many of Iran in the past few hours to open the technology and change the course. I know his Eminence al of Iran and his team are on the line and listening. With this technology, we do not need to attack. We need to bring shame to the knowledge of weapon technology when the beauty of this can be shown. And if you understand it, this is three different vehicles, it's not just one. So it means technology is repeatable and needs to be kept in the formation to create that dome. You know, in the star formation, you create a spherical dome. So is this. 
And this is what is important to us as knowledge seekers. And if the world scientists understand what happened on the, what we call, 1st of October 2024, on the skies of Tel Aviv, many of you will stop the war. It's very simple. You see the distance, and you see how they become impossible to penetrate. And you can create a dome. And Matula Khomeini, in the past 24 or 48 hours, has said Iran will release the technology, will change the course. There will be the weapon technology of this technology. I know their capability, and I have requested to step back and to open technology to bring shame to the Americans and the Israelis. We can take you out in one second. And it's not a talk. This is the horizon, skies of Tel Aviv, on the 1st of October, 2024. To strangers, that just lights. To you, knowledge seekers, it's a star formation. It didn't appear on the line next to each other. They didn't appear in a circle. They completed a star formation, which needed to create a dome, to allow intercepted missiles to arrive in Tel Aviv and do their job. And they can create hole in them when they feel like it. That's what you see at the bottom. Estimated losses by the Israeli armies is in thousands. That's why they censored. Now, you wanted to see the technology. I kept these pictures, these images from CNN, from the World News, showing it live during the attack. And now that it's become public, you can see that it's not from us. Technology is delivered is the leaders who have to apply it for peace, or for destruction. Hours before teaching this morning, I put my case to Atala Khamenei directly. I don't advise to attack. I don't advise to get defeated. I advise to open a new technology that we don't need to talk about it because we have already shown this power. You got to realize even this technology, which you see in the sky of Tel Aviv, is obsolete to the advancement of the technology in Keshe Foundation today. So, now sits in the hand of Haytel Khamenei of Mirah. We go from one light to two, or to three, and we show no weapon can stand. It serves its purpose, and it was created to stop meteorite, asteroids, to hit Earth or in time of trouble for man. And Iran used it to stop, create that hole that allows the mayhem on the horizons of Tel Aviv. As I said, a woman needs a man when he cannot secure the safety of the woman. And Sarah has left Tel Aviv because his man cannot secure his nation, there is no guarantee. Because they know what was on the horizon. Any other? 